Hi my friend, how are you? I am Joey and in this video of Joey's Tech we are going to look into the snake sequence problem and we will solve it using dynamic programming. Let's look at the problem statement and know what the snake sequence problem is all about. There is a matrix of integers given to you. So it's uh, one of the additions to our metric series of problems which we solve using dynamic programming. So there is a matrix of integers, okay, which is there in the problem. You need to find the longest snake sequence from this matrix. All right. Now, a question obviously is popping in your mind what a snake sequence is. So let me answer that. A snake sequence is a sequence of adjacent integers in which every integer on the right or the bottom of that particular integer is either plus one or minus one. Okay, so it's a sequence of adjacent numbers. First of all, the numbers have to be adjacent and each number is located such that the number on the right of it is either plus one or minus one or the number just beneath it is either plus one or minus one of that particular number. It will be more clear to you once we see this graphic. This is a matrix of integers and as you can see this is the snake sequence. Check this out. So it starts from 10 and as you can see the number beneath it is 9 which is exactly 1 less than 10. All right, then we have 8, okay, which is one more than 9, and it is to the right of 9. We have 7, and it is one right of the number, which is 8. All right, and then we have 6. Similarly, we have 7 and 8. So we have to design an algorithm or a solution to find out the longest snake sequence from a given matrix. Now, we are going to move to solving this problem using dynamic programming. Before we do that, if you are new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon because that way you will get notified whenever I release videos like this in future. Now let's move to the framework. So here is our framework where we are going to fill this matrix over here and this matrix is going to store our snake sequence. We'll be finding the length of the longest snake sequence as well as the snake sequence itself. This matrix over here is our problem matrix and from this matrix we need to find the snake sequence. So I have initialized this matrix with zeros. The base values of each cell of this matrix has been initialized to zero to facilitate our process and we are going to begin from here. Now this is going to be zero. The actual process or the main step is going to begin from here because we are dealing with the comparison of two integers here. So one integer is not going to solve our problem. It's not enough to solve our problem actually. There have to be two integers so that we can at least compare them and start deriving our snake sequence. We are doing it using dynamic programming which is a bottom-up approach so we are going to focus on each and every sub problem. So let's say we are considering this sub problem so only we have two integers at one time. So, so let's start filling this cell. To fill this cell we'll have to compare these two integers and check what the subtraction of these two integers yields. So it has to be either minus one or plus one. What is the subtraction result of these two integers? What is 10 minus seven? So it is basically three. So it doesn't satisfy our condition. So what is going to happen? We are going to move to this cell now. Okay, and we'll derive the value of this cell. This cell is going to be left to zero as well as this cell will be zero. Now let's calculate the value of this cell. So here we have six. Let's compare seven and six. So we get the subtraction result as one. Mm -hmm. That means this fulfills our criteria. This fulfills our condition. 
so what we are going to do we are going to compare the value which is there already and we are going to add one to this value because we are getting one more integer in our sequence that is why we are adding one to the value before and we are going to compare that value with the value already present here because we are looking for the longest snake sequence if a higher value is already present at the cell there is no use of replacing this value with the value we are getting from the left so currently the after adding one to this value we are going to get one and the, here in this cell we have zero present so, so one is greater than zero hence we are going to replace this value with one all right so if you are going to look at this sub problem 10 7 and 6 the length of the longest snake sequence is coming as one okay we move to this cell that means we are considering this sub problem all right now let's compare these two integers so 6 minus 2 or 2 subtracted from 6 is going to yield 4 so that doesn't satisfy our condition so this is going to stay 0 let's start filling the value of this cell so we come over here now this cell can be only compared with this number because we are allowed to go down but we are not allowed to come left so we are not going to compare this cell value with this cell value but we are going to compare this value with this value so 10 minus 9 is 1 that means it satisfies our condition we have 0 here already we add 1 to this 0 so we get 1 1 is greater than this 0 so I replace this 0 with 1 all right now let's move to this cell checking here again so as you can see that if we subtract 9 if we subtract 8 from 9 then we are going to get 1 so here we have the value as 0 and we add 1 to 8 so we'll get 2 2 is greater than 0 so I'm going to replace 0 with 2 now wait a minute this cell also needs to be compared with this cell because we are allowed to go down so value can come from here as well or the sneak sequence can come from here as well so let's compare these two cells so 8 minus 7 or 7 minus 8 is going to give me minus 1 okay and this satisfies my condition all right so I already have the value as 2 let's add 1 to this value so it is going to give me 1 but since 1 is less than 2 hence 2 stays and 1 is ignored okay now we move here we are going to compare this value with this value so 8 minus 7 is 1 that means we add 1 to this so I get 3 now 3 is greater than 0 so I place 3 over here okay now let's compare this value with the value over here so it is 6 7 minus 6 is 1 so this also satisfies my condition now let's add 1 to it so I get 2 now 2 is less than 3 so 3 stays and that 2 gets ignored all right I hope you are learning now how we are solving this problem okay so we move to calculate the value of this cell what we have here we have 6 now when we subtract 6 from 7 we get 1 okay so that satisfies my condition now I add 1 to this 3 so I get 4 4 is greater than 0 so I put 4 over here now I'm going to compare the value of this cell with this cell also because we are allowed to come down but 2 minus 6 or 6 minus 2 is going to give me 4 so that doesn't satisfy my condition hence this iteration will be ignored okay let's move here now I have 8 now 8 subtracted from 9 is going to give me 1 so let's add 1 to it it is going to give me 2 now 2 is greater than 0 so I put 2 over here all right I move here now let's compare this value with this value so 8 minus 3 is going to give me 5 the condition is not satisfied we ignore it we compare this value with this value so 8 minus 3 is again 5 okay the condition doesn't satisfy we ignore this iteration 
and zero stays here nothing happens we move here now over here we subtract 1 from 3 so it is going to give us 2 that doesn't satisfy the condition so what do we do we ignore it now we compare this one with this 7 so we get 6 as the answer again this doesn't satisfy my condition so 0 stays nothing happens all right now we move here we have got 7 now we compare 7 with this one so we get minus 6 7 subtracted from 1 we get minus 6 or 1 subtracted from 7 we get 6 okay either way you can do that because it is about plus n minus 1 so minus 6 doesn't satisfy my condition so I ignore it okay and but I compared this 7 with this 6 so this gives me 1 okay 7 subtracted from 6 is going to give me minus 1 that satisfies my condition so what I'm going to do I add 1 to this 4 I get 5 now 5 is greater than 0 I place 5 over here okay let's move to calculate the value of this cell over here we have 1 now 1 subtracted from 8 either way is going to yield 7 so this gets ignored all right we move here what we have here 1 so 1 subtracted from 1 is going to give me 0 now that also doesn't satisfy my condition so we ignore it 1 subtracted from 3 gives me 2 okay this doesn't satisfy my condition either so we ignore it we move to calculate the value of this cell we have 1 here now you can see this cell as well as this cell if we compare this one with this one we get 0 we compare this one with this one for our condition we get 0 both ways we do not satisfy our condition hence 0 stays so we come over here now we compare 8 with 1 for our condition so 8 subtracted from 1 is going to give me minus 7 that doesn't satisfy my condition however 8 subtracted from 7 is going to give me minus 1 that does satisfy my condition so this way I am going to add 1 to this value which is 5 it gives me 6 now 6 is greater than 0 so I place 6 over here and this gives me the length of the longest snake sequence now we are going to backtrace from here and find the sequence okay and that sequence we are going to mark over here now let's start from here so what do you think from where we are getting this 6 we are getting it from here because 5 added we added 1 to 5 and we got 6 all right so let me mark this okay where are we getting this 5 we are not getting this 5 from here no way we are getting it from here we are getting this 5 from here so this becomes my second component okay or let's say the third component 1 2 and 3 where am I getting this 4 from we are not getting this 4 from here we are getting it from here so let me mark this as well all right where I'm getting this 3 from I'm not getting this 3 from here I'm getting it from here so let me mark this all right we are going so fine now where am I getting this 2 we are not getting it from here but we are getting it from here okay so I mark this as all right now this one was derived from this zero okay so I put this component also under my sequence and this gives me my sequence so let me mark the same cells over here okay so 10 9 8 7 6 7 8 is my longest snake sequence which I derive from this matrix you can see you can check yourself that the adjacent numbers have the difference of either 1 or minus 1 now let's quickly see the algorithm of this dynamic programming solution now this is our algorithm so if SIJ is equal to SIJ minus 1 plus minus 1 
okay so we are checking for our condition this checks our condition from the problem matrix as is our problem matrix then mij is going to be max of either mij that means the cell for which we are calculating the value that's why we placed a zero over there earlier or the cell on the left plus one all right we already did that so it won't be a problem for you and the second condition is if sij is equal to s i minus 1 j plus minus 1 that means the cell at the top okay we are checking uh, for our plus 1 minus 1 condition then if it gets satisfied then m i j is going to be max of m i j or m i minus 1 j plus 1 that means the cell at the top plus 1 so with this we have come to the end of this video I'm sure you learned a lot from this video. If you have got any doubt regarding anything related to this dynamic programming solution of the longest snake sequence problem, then put it in the comments. I'll answer them. I'll answer your questions within 24 hours. And if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. I look so much forward to help you with programming and algorithms. Thank you. Hasta la vista. Goodbye.